can't use some solitaire. Hello YouTube, this is Wong Yong Park. Today I'm gonna explain my solitaire build. It core 413 Dark Moon build, okay? There is a lot of uh, style of Dark Moon, yeah, 422 uh, and ETC, but uh, when I play Hell Mode with Solita, I love to play 413 and that reason is I think is the most high selling for this Solita. And also many people are asking Full Moon, Dark Moon, Dark Moon, what is better? Uh, in my idea, if Raid is very short and your R dropping portion very strong, then I think Full Moon is definitely number one. Yeah, like, a little better than, you can think about better than Ignite Saucer. You know what I mean? If where is the Ignite Saucer good, then that raid in Min Full Moon will be good too. But Dark Moon always uh, doing so good DPS in every raid in every situation. So for me, Dark Moon more fun and fun to play, and also great DPS too. Here is uh, my build. Yeah, I cannot presentation every build because I think this is the best for Dark Moon, in my idea. So you are watching my video and I'm gonna share my experience. First, why we call 4, 1, 3 is, uh, we ca you can see the 4 blue, 1 green, 3 pink. Basically with this, this skill tree I'm gonna using, I'm gonna using red skill with my bubble. When, uh, if you using a uh, blue or green skill you are bubble on but only two skill can using with the bubble so my d the sauciness my d skill i'm gonna using this without the bubble you can think about like striker you got it or four red skill lunar before the start yeah here is uh, my engraving uh, just i put some mp because uh no mp issue i'm gonna using nightmare set uh, but let's delete this first for everyone. Yeah, here's a uh, basically we're gonna pick Dark Moon, Raid Captain, Kimblon, Grudge, and Karstall with Adrenaline 1. Uh, let me watch Loawa. Maybe if someone play Increase Mess, I think Increase Mess also you can play. There is a little slower attack. I think it can handle, yeah, I think Dark Moon is not that hard to handle that. So hold on, let me watch just the Soul Reiter Lank, Lanking. Uh, how many people play with Increase Mass? But if you have an uh, Increase Mass Stone or Increase Mass Idea, uh, it doesn't matter. I think it could be also a great choice. And or if your accessory is not that expensive, so you can make very quality. If you can make 100 quality with the uh, increased mass, it means more stronger than this. You got it? It depends on your budget and situation. Both, uh, both can work, no problem. And yeah, I'm gonna put some mana ish and supporter ish. Yeah, you you will not see the low nightmare effect low mp effect yeah so don't worry about that let's see first our skill tree we're gonna use guillotine sorcerers a bestie three pink and one green we're gonna pick sword drain and four blue retire spinning and lost nail lunatic harvest this is our counter and lost nail will be counter and little uh front attack so you can little move to the boss and this gonna be our next main skill this three is a main and other is identity but this pretty good dps when you are joined the dark moon but dark moon have some weird thing when you join the dark moon mode it's debuff your dps is lower than before i will explain i will explain uh, during the cycle but before the identity, you're very strong with three pink and you join that time, you're like MP, MP buff and 
this blue skill buff and cooldown buff even if that very weak. So in dark mode, you have to using two retard spinning for your minimum DPS. And let's see the our skill point tripod. Gelotin swing, we're gonna pick two, three, one. Of course important. Soul Sinus, two, three, one. And Vestizy, one, three, one. But for this, um, you don't need to put level 5. And maybe you cannot because of tripod limit. You don't need, so I recommend 1, 3, 1. And Soul Drain, here's a 3, 3, 2. And Retire Spinning, 3, 1, 1. Lost Nail Counter, 3, 1. Or you can play this. You can play this. And if you don't have a skill point, you can play this too, no matter what. I told you this is, uh, even if this is not strong skill, but it's the best skill in blue. And this is very small skill, so anyway, yeah. If you don't have a skill point, this is gonna be best, right? And if you can, you can pick this, you can pick this, it depends on your situation. Many people recommend this or this, doesn't matter. There is a two different, so one one is 4 meter jump, so easy to closer, they get closer to boss, so you can make great identity uh, without the miss skill, uh, emergency, and this 6 meter jump, both good. Mm, so 3-2, three, 3-3. Three, three. Some people using this, some people using this. You can try it on Trishion and you can pick it. And nothing at you. 1-1-1. One, one, one. And Harvest, 3-3-1. Three, three, and let's see the rune. Gilotin. Mm. Actually, sorry, Turst Tagger is not that high when you don't have a red skill. If the red skill is in a cooldown, and also you have to wait the red skill for your bubble. You cannot push for the stagger. So with that, if you have a stagger rune on Gilotin, it's a very good. Or if you have a greedy, you can put purple or gay wind rune here. And so Sinus, we're gonna yellow. And Vestige, we're gonna uh, pick purple, gay wind. And so Sinus, Conviction. And retail spinning, yellow wind, and lost nail, this is our counter, you can put a cleanser or a bleedy, whatever you want. Or yeah, you can pick this if you if you don't have a bleedy, like purple, purple cooldown run here. And Lunatiachi, we're gonna play this judgment. So A and W, my soul drain, and what is we're gonna we're gonna do? A judgment. Cheapest build? No, most strongest build for the Dark Moon. If you are asking increase mass instead of this, I think it's gonna be more cheap. And also it could be very strong too. Uh, if you have a strong whole food and wine, uh, I, I, I cannot feel increase mass debuff. Because uh, not that slow, this class is not that slow. So, And harvest, we're gonna put cooldown rune. And the gem. Gem, gem, gem. We have a uh, 5 DPS gem and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 cooldown gem and this 4 dps gem is important and one is and the yeah, other you got it which skill we have uh, let's see the dps gem first three pink skill and our next main skill and just sub skill and cooldown uh, sub skill means harvest right so three pink and retard spinning and harvest and cooldown, yeah, of course, three pink and retire spinning, yeah, sure. And lunatic edge and harvest. So this is a four-hour uh, bubble. Any suggestion for DPS class with a ah chip build? Ah, uh, hold on, I will answer that after my solitaire guide finish. Yeah, stay, stay in here. I will answer you. It will be fast finish. No worry. Yeah, and um, ah, our stat important. Yeah, crit. Just full crit with the 
swimness. You got it? Necklace sweep and bracelet, crit sweep and crit. All crit. Let's go. Cycle is important, right? First, we're gonna using A, W, Q, one bubble and F, D. In means we're gonna using F, guillotine with the bubble and soul sinus without the bubble. You understand? Bubble and no bubble. And next, we're gonna using our uh, soft skill and also bubble and we're gonna using a vestige. This is a we have a two stack, right? We're gonna using vestige one time without the bubble. And we're gonna using three blue and bubble on. Then we're gonna using vestige one more with the bubble. Repeat. Okay. Let's see. A W Q and it could be on our judgment too. And we're gonna using bubble F and D without the bubble. Even if that is so strong. And we're gonna using our lethal spinning. Best TG without the bubble. And we're gonna jump. With the bubble. And after that, our A Q W cooldown will come. So we're gonna using same. F D without the bubble. And best TG. Like that. Okay, let me explain again. If you watch this uh, skill icon, you will see, you will understand. Now we're gonna go. Uh, okay, let's delete the bubble. Uh, before that, uh, let me introduce you. If you are on the bar on, then you can join the dark mode. Mod. In here, you cannot using pink. So in here, you have to using every piano. But point is you have to use retard spinning double time only focus that other just spam just retard spinning double time that is important okay here we go we're gonna go A W Q F D uh, did you got it? and F D and we join. Uh, did, did you get it? And now we're gonna do it one more, but focus. First, we're gonna do A, W, Q. But after second cycle, your A is a little slower than Q and W. So you can spam Q, W, and A. Q, W first and A. And also your E is coming fast. So you can using E for the small bubble because you can miss the Q too, right? Any emergency, you can put the E. Yeah, see again. A, W, Q, F, D, R, S, and E, Q, W, and S, and wait. And we can we can spam E just yeah A Q W and wait 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 F D and we join Dark Moon just spam we use double double shot and then enough and we're gonna go out flip it And here, uh, I can explain one more thing. Why so? Uh, this build also could good. If boss is ready for mechanic, then you don't need to uh, follow the cycle. If boss is flying now, just spam. And doing mechanic with that bubble, you got it. And mechanic, your cooldown will come. Any anyway, or uh, you can use in your way, but you have to. You have to understand your Dark Moon is debuff. So best way is best way is before the you join the before the you join the mechanic. Imagine if now is a mechanic, go now is perfect. Mechanic, 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 mechanic. 
it's a perfect. And when the mechanic finish, you can you can use a strong strong cycle again. This is a basically a 413 Dark Moon build. Uh, it's a cycle. If you understand this, you can play whatever you want. So Soul Sinus is gonna be using without the bubble. And Vestigy, you're gonna use Vestigy one time without the bubble. Only that. So F bubble, S bubble. F bubble, S bubble like that. Mm, what we lost? Yeah, we have uh, everything in here, right? Yeah, we have everything. Okay, GG. If you're asking, so Soul Reaper versus Reaper, what is better? Because uh, many of my viewer and YouTube uh, subscriber playing Reaper, right? Um. After balance patch, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just pick a uh, hunger reaper. Can we see a one minute DPS test? Ah, with this, you wanna see it? 40, 45 quality weapon. Okay, let's see. Imagine how much, guys. Usually, how much you got it with this? I don't have any idea of this roll item level because I'm playing this hell mode. Okay, I own. Let's try. We go. We go. Oh, okay. Again, actually. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Go. Four million. Let's see. Four million, you said more than double. I told you this is the most strongest uh, build for uh, Dark Moon, and not no risk, and very, uh, very uh, uh, easy to. Uh, I mean, any emergency you can using other way, any fast mechanic or jump bo boss jump. Anytime you can play with your brain. Uh, maybe I have to spam this skill before the flying or I have to save this skill before the flying. Yeah, you can choose it. Yeah, even if I hit the one minute, uh, it's like 9 million. Maybe uh, if I turn off the timer when I join the Dark Moon, maybe uh, 9 5. So, yeah, that's all. My 1560 scraper has 9 million. Uh, if I reach that, maybe I can. Uh, yeah, imagine just yourself. Imagine. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. Uh, sorry to guide. This, I cannot explain full moon and dark moon and every build because I only play this build because uh, I know this is the best build because. Um, some some great soul reader player was teaching me and I just believe that. Like, you guys are building my Reaper prey because I'm Reaper God. For me, uh, he was a, like, sorry, to really great sorry to player. So just, I don't, I just believe him. So <laughs> I picked it, but he said other bit also can be re really good. But he recommend this. And when I followed that, oh, it was pretty good for me. Uh, so I can only explain this guide, only this build, 413, full crit swimness build. But you will not regret if you play this as a DPS. GG.